swan would be a nice change of pace. So she's... Oh, God. She's left me another note. Let's see what this one is. So I think this is the end. Usually, when she leaves us another note out of the blue, it's usually the end. So I think this is going to be part five, I assume. Let's have a look at the map. Uh, oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Ah! Oh, shit. That is the worst place. Look at that. Right in smack middle in there. Well, we'll come back to that because I'll just finish part four so you can see what I've just picked up. Uh, and then we'll pop back in and we will go and see what Earth Celia's up to. Oh, we've got to hack another drive. Okay, I'll do that in a second. Let's open the Dove first. So it says... Sacy, Sacy left and went into the world. The others found their own way out. So, like, that's that's Hank, the lizard, right at the front. And then I thought that, yeah, no, I think I'm right. I think that's Fetch. I think the one. So you can see there's three here, plus Augustine. I assume in the background, but those might be like the angels. That might be symbolism for. Um, Eugene's angels, those like winged winged dragons, but I think Hank's the the smoke named character lizard thing because it works, doesn't it? He's like a little bit of a dragon. He sort of almost breathes fire. Um, most people seem to agree with me that they thought that Fetch was the one that's actually now on the right, so the really sort of flashy bird, if that makes sense. I think she's supposed to be like a peacock, maybe, which makes sense with the bright neon colours. And then Eugene, if you actually look at this one, it looks like. It's a winged, furry, sort of chickeny thing with glasses. And Eugene has glasses, if I recall. So I think that's those three again. Um, and she says, wonderfully again, she's doing haikus. Damage is done. The world wants us dead. Conduits beware. The body bag is a cruel irony. It attempts to cover up a gruesome sight. Yet it exudes a deathly aura all its own. The normals hate conduits because we're different. And now they demand our blood. Victimization yields vigilantism. And we're caught in the crossfire. And then there's Bennett. I always knew he was a jerk, but now he's a jerk who's ushering the military into the business of rounding up conduits. They must have paid him a not so pretty penny to rat us out. The doves are bleeding, the foxes are coming. Oh, good. If you don't know what, I'm assuming that's like reference to the saying about putting foxes in a hen house. You know, blood, blood, sweat and blood and gore will happen if you put foxes in with a hen house. They'll kill them all. And then they, basically foxes will kill hens in a hen house and they won't eat them all. They'll literally just kill them and leave them, which is why they're such a danger to farmers, if I recall correctly. Um, so let's have a look at the DUP drive. If it's a defrag styly hacky jobby, then I'll cut everything except for the last change out. But let's have a look. Oh, this is hacking it. Then that's hilarious. Okay, 54 second clip. Let's see what this is. My name is Tyler Bennett, Chief Science Officer for the Department of Unified Protection. As part of my duties here at the DUP, I compile and categorize bioterror suspects according to their degree of, 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 of imminent threat. What I have created is a roadmap to the future security of our nation, a security that has been foolishly entrusted to the DUP. The bioterrorist Brooke Augustine has perverted the DUP's mission of conduit eradication. I instead of hunting down potential bioterrorists, she trains new ones and becomes more powerful every day. She must be stopped. Included on this USB drive is a small section of the threat list. For the right compensation, the entire list of conduit positive targets can become property of the US military. I eagerly await your response on this matter. Okay, so he was contacting the military about this. Right, okay, what's this then? Oh no! Weston Pardu, dead. Fiona Truesdale, dead. Abraham Uren, dead. Art Finch, dead. Chris Novak, dead. Oh, Tag Egelstein. Wire. It was wife. I thought it was wife. It was wire because they're really silly writing. Sarah O'Keefe. Dead. These, these people are all dead. So he sent eight people's names and they're all dead. Good job, mate. Good fucking job. 
Um, and then what's this? Uh, oh, so this was where. Okay, let's go right down to the bottom. I have access to the DUP threat list. If this is of interest, please respond within 24 hours before this email address is deleted. They said, is this a joke? Why are you contacting us? They said, do you want it? Even if we were, the DUP is going to be gone in a couple of months and we'll have access to all their files. Why would we pay you now? So I'm assuming this underclosed sens sender is... They're either from Purity Life or Life Purity or whatever they're called, or it's from the military. I would assume it's the military because it says we'll have access to all their files when it's gone. But I don't know. Are you sure about the closure? Have you been watching the news? If, if that were ha to happen, you both, you and I both know there's no way Augustine lets you have that list. This is your last best chance. They say meet us here in two days on the dock, which is where we were. Three days you won't be meeting me. So we met that guy. We took the list off of him. He wants 700k. So, right. Okay. So, that's the end of that bit. Well, I guess we got to go back into the game and meet up with them. So, off we go. Right, okay. So, now we're back in the game. Uh, what's the best place for me to go to travel? Probably that one, actually. Where we came from before. Oh, I see. We can run now. We couldn't run when we were on the dock because, you know, I guess it's not... For whatever reason, he's not... Pro oh, okay. <laughs> Stairs. Doesn't like stairs either. Oh, we can't go over there either. This is the problem with concrete. Can't do certain things. Along with the shitty turning circle. Wait. But I can go like that and just destroy things, which is great fun. Wait. Oh, we climbed up there without a problem. Lunatic. Woo! Got the hang of his weird jump. There you go. Da da! Got up there. No probs. Right. Um, she's down here. Downtown. When you're a conduit and you need some answers, you can always go. Downtown. There's DUP every. Whoa. Yeah, there are. There's DUP everywhere and I will die, but I'm going to go downtown. God, oh! Hey, there's that guy. Oh, great. Okay. Celia, this is a really bland place to be playing hide and seek, just so you know. Celia! Yeah, I can't do that, Celia. I just end up breaking things. This is the worst place that you could have decided to do this to me. I really could do with some smoke or something that isn't concrete. Just because I really don't want to have this fight with you. Um, oh, you're up there now. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Celia. Thanks for that. There we go. Way! Beautiful. Celia, Celia. Celia. Come on. As long as you move away from the uh, the danger zone, which you were in, I'm happy actually. There we go. She's moving. She's Delsa, get off that. She's moving away. Oh, thank God. Okay, where are you going, love? Come on, up, up, madam, madam. <laughs> and then she's going back in. Celia, why? Why would you do this to me? I can't chase you with concrete. It's really silly. Whoop! Oh, God. I'm not sure I like us jumping around various bits of the DUP. Also, I shouldn't run up here. It's a dangerous, dangerous game to play. Especially when his turning circle is pretty pathetic. Oh, he won't run up there. He doesn't like... He really won't run on stairs. Slash, um... Slash like elevated stuff and I guess that the dock counted as elevated in the air I guess it's because he's made of concrete he's quite heavy oh ah okay yep sent to the paper trail and I, I will do I will do smoke I promise I'll do smoke next time for the people who want smoke oh god the turning circle
Burn them, burn them. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie. Underlighting. That bastard had neon underlighting. I want that on my car. There we go. Paper trail part five. Woo! Okay. I'm just going to get off the road so I didn't get hit by a car because sod's law. And uh, let's go back into the browser, shall we? Right, so let's see what the dove has to say with all that in mind that's just happened. Oh, God. oh no, Celia, what's this? What have you done? Oh, Celia, there was no place for Hitori. Loneliness drank the life from her veins. Oh, that's a bit, that's a bit grim. Oh, and then we've got this. Oh, no. So the, the haiku says, the weak always die. Planting paths for new bloodlines. Evolution calls. Great. Oh, thanks, Celia. Thanks so much. What the shit am I supposed to do with this? I guess we've got to match them up. Oh, God. Hang on a minute. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's... Let's get the old paint out. The old paint. Put that in there. Resize to, like, 200%. There we go. Right. So... Uh, let's use different colours and see if this works. I don't know if it will, so you might have to bear with me. I'm going to try and do this as, as, as nicely as I can so that you can actually see what on earth's going on. Firstly, you've got these blobs. Uh, so if I do this in white... You can see these blobs here, which I think are just the shape of a dove. I think they have nothing to do with the overall thing, so that's, that's fine. Uh, and we're going to go down these numbers. So I'm going to start basically with the circles. Let's do it in black, and I'll go through the colours of the rainbow after that. Um, I would do this in Photoshop, but no. Um, no. So you're going to have to excuse my hilariously wobbly hands whilst using this. I'm using a mouse and paint. So don't expect too much of me. Uh, so, that's a two. I think we can agree, everyone. That's a two. Happy with that. We'll put a two there. Don't think it's a five. Um, then we'll go for this weird maroony sort of colour for um, these numbers. Which I've got to be really careful not to cover up because what, like, my worry is that um, a lot of the unfilled in some shape with a something else inside look very similar so I've got to be a little bit careful on that um, and make sure I don't fill in the wrong ones I can't even see number one. Oh, there's number one right at the top so this goes all the way down here so what's that a six must be a six surely put a six in could be a nine we'll see I don't know what else it could be. I mean, there's not really another number that's that shape. And I'm assuming that there's not going to be any rotation, but I just don't know. Um, then for this one with the squares, we've got uh, one. And again, I'm trying to do it so I don't cover up the shapes too much. Six, seven... Um, that is a really strange shape. <laughs> is that a sideways three? Maybe? I don't know. Let's put that in as a three. I'm trusting myself here. God knows. Uh, then we've got triangles. So we've got that, which is a triangle. I don't think there's any other triangles. So what's that? A seven, maybe? Let's assume it's a seven for now. Then we've got hexagons. Uh, no, they're pentagons. They're pentagons. What am I doing? We've got pentagons. Uh, one, two. So maybe that's a one. Because I can't see... Literally, I can't see anything else. So that must be a one. So maybe that is a seven. Oh, God. What if it's not? What is she doing? Couldn't she have just written this like a normal human being? I mean, really, Celia? I've got better things to be doing with my time than trying to decode this craziness that looks like a backwards one yet that other one doesn't look like a backwards one i'm gonna put that i'm gonna copy the shapes apart from that seven which i've screwed up shush you haven't seen it you can't see it it's fine it's all fine uh one two oh god it must be that three really 
Is that another seven, Celia? Have you written me another seven? I'm assuming so. Oh god, this is, and this is where it gets difficult because you can see there's a three. The three that this this blue one ends with is very similar looking to the the three below it. So this three that joins up to that, and that joins up to that. I'm doing it backwards. I apologise. Um, have we got really? You've really given me another seven. That can't be right. This can't be right, Celia. Uh, uh, actually, maybe it can, because it's at the end. I'm just going to put that... I'm As I said, I'm assuming they're sevens. Actually, that's okay, because they're not together, so... It, it, it might be legit. It might be legit. I just don't know. Oh, God. Three. Two. One. So that's a five. This is... I know this is now looking like a mess to everyone, including me. But I, if I start trying to like remove figures, I'm going to start confusing myself. Uh, one. Is that it? There's only two Triforce, aren't there? So that is literally just a line. One. Right, okay. Uh, we're going to get the lime green out now for the last one, which is here. One, two, three, four, five. That's a nine. So I think I've joined everything up. So apparently the number, she says, might not be, is two, six, three. I think it's seven, one, one, seven, five, one, nine, seven. I am praying to God this is right. Otherwise, we have to start that all over again. And I think I'll have a breakdown. <laughs>